Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Stellaris Multiplayer featuring your Shirley Bundes or Bob, Nems, Ben Roach. Say hello. 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 Not Midge, though. Yeah, fuck Midge. <laughs> Fucking Zooms. I mean, I, we miss you, Midge. I love you. Did I do that Very right? Much. Yes. Okay. Yes. I got a boring background for myself because I got a space heater on in the background because it is cold. Construction complete. Well, yeah, that's because, you know, winter came back and said, fuck you, remember oh. me? Florida version of cold here, aka like 60. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I had a lot of synthetics last time. I forgot about that. That's windbreaker weather right there. True story. Or or in, in, in Florida, parka. Yes. I, I remember it got down to like, uh, when I was living there, it got down to 50 degrees one day, uh, and the world was ending. No, oh, yeah. Everyone in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that works. Why did you guys build a silo <laughs> in the corner like that? That's a terrible place for that. What are you talking about? <laughs> this uh, Magnus Prime, where all my slave field energy fields are at. No, the, the built... great electricity fields of Urban Day. <laughs> yes. Where uh, apparently they built a silo because the AI had that planet back for a while, right? Apparently mm. they built a silo like in the corner. And the things with the silo or a. Uh, or not the silent. No, this is the wrong thing. Never mind, it's the wrong thing. But it's a mineral processing plant. They they shoved it like in the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the thing is that there's only I think one dilithium mine on here or a mineral mine on here. The rest of it's energy fields. So, like, why did you bother putting this here? Electricity fields of property. Can't stop saying that. <laughs> All right, so keep, what do I got? Just keep it going. Room? Uh, energy credits plus five percent. I'm modifying the Magnu species. The Magnu species. All that species. genetic mushroom being. Genetic, genetic mushrooms. Yes. Re rebuilding the glorious uh, hole jumpers. I'll give you a hole to jump. Whoa. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> a lot of my comment section were like, "Oh my god, I can't believe that it didn't help you, but at least the battle was cool." <laughs> Oh, the shinies. Lots of shinies. Which battle? The big one. There were several of those. <laughs> yeah. So was, uh, uh, the, the big Special one. Project complete. I'm sure it's the big one for the Magnu League, but... Well, it was like... I, I, it was, I, I knocked out, what, like 110,000 fleet power from the enemy? Um... Uh, <clears throat> I don't remember that battle. That's all right. <laughs> that, was a, that was an in Ben's head <laughs> battle. Of course you don't. Of course you don't, because it didn't happen. It didn't it happen, happen that way. <laughs> I remember when like four of us were in a system and killed 110,000 fleet power, but I don't remember when you solo tanked that. Oh, yeah, I remember, remember when you soloed like 40,000. Yes, that I happens. soloed like 40,000, and then I th I think what happened was was it Bob engaged them, but was heavily outnumbered, left, then I came in and, and soloed, soloed the fleet. And then somebody came in and mopped up the last, like, 7k. We'll have to I mean, check, this the, is, we'll have to check the tape on that one. We can, we can literally see this. Like, go back and, and watch <clears throat> the tapes. Yeah, I know. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to be exactly the way I said it. It's going to be everything no, I, I said it so. was. No, that's exactly what happened. I remember because there was a large conversation after the fight of why didn't you guys help me? And one person was like, oh, I was distracted. And Bob's ships were lost in the ether from the retreat. And I think you were claiming that yours couldn't get there. Moke Crack. I like that. That's a great name. <clears throat> Give me all of the minerals. Research Wait, complete. what pops do I have that can colonize that? What's going on here? I am droids. ever so confused. No, they're outlawed in my empire. <clears throat> yeah, there would be no droids here. These are oh. not the droids you're looking for. Colonize. Who can settle this thing? Really? Me? No. <laughs> I refuse. Wait, the Jaskavaz can? Who are like desert dwellers? What this kind of Arctic world? Is? Apparently, it's in the same doodle. All right. 
No, someone must have migrated into my empire. Construction complete. Which one of you assholes is it? Which one I mean, there's a lot bastards? of there's a lot of free agent <laughs> Rochikins out there nowadays. But they're desert preference too, aren't they? Arid. Arid. What what world uh, are they trying to settle? Whoever the Multics are, they're the, the ones. Multics are my. Uh, oh, <clears throat> that's his subject race. My subject race, yeah. They get around. Yeah, well. <laughs> they're trying to run. Cool with it too, even though they're tropical world. We'll put the Multics there. Damn right, they get around. The Multics are just trying to run. They don't. They just want to leave. They just want to get. They just want to get away. The from they can't escape say? them. The, the chim, the chim space. They They're not to trying to leave. Those chains are decorative. <laughs> I think it was a couple of weeks ago. Like uh, the multics came over first, and for every like two multics, there was a chim that came over. So it's like it's like his house servants. Yeah, I got the super the, chim. The, the planet. Oh yeah, the super, J just super dash. Is actually what they're called. Super yeah, and, the, and their picture is whatever you clicked on last. Yeah. They're strong, rapid breeding, alpine preference, adaptive. They like the mountains. Well, there are going to be, I think, some new slaves here shortly. Bob loves his slaves. I actually have a couple of super chim in my territory. I forgot I, I also I have... genetically modified some thrifty chim. Uh, so I click here. Oh, I forgot I have a robot as my fucking leader. Chim right with, like, crushed velvet like, <clears throat> vestments on. Well, thrifty, not not decadent. They're already decadent. <laughs> they already had all that shit. Let's see. Belmacosa, Chim. Oh, this is not... Uh, let's sort by population here. Um, Vinny, Rochikin. How many Rochikin are in your territory? Because I have like a hundred that are not in my territory last night. I have I have three. I have thirteen. That Where I, the I don't fuck have, are they? I think we're gonna I don't uh, have any. We're gonna experiment on them soon though. I do not have any uh uh supers. I thought I did. They must have left. The fuck? Hmm. I just went to the species map. Or I went to the species screen and there's there's two zoom there's like eight Zelvin. Uh, hmm. Mm. This, uh. Hmm. I could modify the Multics. That'd be fun. Powerful pop oh. factions. I think I fixed it. I'm, I'm yeah. grabbing, like, every tech I can find that makes my leaders live longer so that I have these, like, extremely long-lived shrooms. Although there's a fucking robot in charge right now, and I don't think he ha Does robots have lifespans? Mm, that's a great question. It might, oh, wow. it might be no, relevant, that, too. <clears throat> yeah, no, that might actually... So, wait, do you vote, like, periodically or just until yeah. he dies? Uh, next oh. election okay. uh, is 2434, so he's got a couple of years. See, what would happen if you were, like, an oligarchy or, like... Live a, forever. Uh... <laughs> He's a military pioneer. Well, yeah. I mean, a lot of strategies come about when you don't care about casualties. I'm going to send waves and waves of my own men directly into the enemy death cannons, clogging them with wreckage. Don't worry, they're only organics. Exactly. <laughs> the press corps is like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> right things. I concur. What is here? What is here? Philosophically. Oh, there's a civilization here. Uh, oh, Construction uh, complete. And then can't build. Uh, not within our borders. Oh, it isn't. Okay. Oh, it's literally right on the edge. Okay. Literally. It, there's there's one system that's that that's you know like point is directly on the border between Chim and Magnu, and uh, it's apparently Chim. There's it's like one... one pixel towards the Chim. Oh, Gathrica. Yeah. And I was wondering if I could, I, I, I looked to see if I could build a observation post there to get the the tech out of it. Well, the fleet has been partially restored. You lost it? 
Uh, yeah. Uh, destroying three huh. times the fleet power that it contained. 100 times the fleet power. Yes, every we decimated them. The they were 500,000 and we were 10. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was 110 total in the two battles, but I'm, I'm sure. going to keep exaggerating it. No. Won't believe such a thing could happen. Jim seems strangely okay with being slaves. We're not okay with it. We prefer it. Construction complete. <laughs> you you misunderstand. Well, you are the slaves. I know. We prefer it. Okay. Like, if, if I have a planet with no population, they're mad. But if I enslave one or two of them, they're like, oh, thank God. I mean, five pops of you came over this planet, and now you're slaves, so, uh, you know. Thank God. It's like, they, don't, it's they don't care. As long as slavery exists, yeah. they're fine. They can, Your house they service, can, oh, they the can be the primary like target of it. They're cool with that. Your your house servants, the multics weren't were pleased though. Well, they can go suck themselves. Suck a lemon. Go suck yourself. They probably could. They're pretty limber. Yeah, they do <laughs> look that, don't they? they what race are we the from? The multics remind me of those coffee aliens from Men in Black. Yes, they do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. All right. Who do I want to attack? I feel like I want to attack somebody. Who's ready for a war? Well, we were talking about attacking the Bell Makosa. That's right, we were. We should totally do that. I do have a fleet restore, uh, partially restored. Although I could use some new cruisers. Yeah, I guess I should check out my, my different ships here. What's your fleet power look like? Uh, I'm sitting at about 25,000, and then the uh, Federation's about 7k right now. Construction okay. complete. And you become a slave. Yep, all of you are slaves now. Excellent. You're a slave, and you're a slave. Everybody gets to be a slave. Yay! <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Alright. Mm hmm. Go build the research thing on the thing. You gotta do the thing with the stuff, please. Rebels of Jaskavaz Coalition. What? Right, I am fully upgraded. We are fully upgraded and operational battle station. That isn't a battle station. Do you identify as a battle station? I identify as an attack battle station, not a defensive <laughs> one. That'll the be Death fair. Star. That'll be fair. I identify if, as the Death Star. If you check out Shetty, which is kind of where I plan on one of the fronts being, there are fully operational battle stations there. What I'm wondering right now is I'm doing something that gives leader lifespan plus five years. Does that apply to, apply to synths? It's called cell revitalization. They don't have cells. Well, I mean, they have synthetic speciesist. Cells. Very curious. Oh, so here's another damn thing organics. That, here's Legion another thing that kind of messes with me. Like the uh, <laughs> I have planets that have super dash on them, and they don't. Look, it looks like it's blank, but it's not. Like, that's gonna throw me off. <laughs> like, oh, that's an unworked tot. No, no, there is someone there. They're just invisible. That's how super they are. They're freaking invisible. <laughs> They're like Jimadar. They are. They have a personal cloak. That'd be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? They would. What am I... Have I updated my battle stations in a while? Looks like it. Slave processing facility. The slave processing facility. Urapente. Urapente. I'm going to build a new fleet because I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a lot of slaves. That's the good thing, Bob. But they do exist. It's true. 
I can upgrade the armor on these things. And then... Do. Hmm. I, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Damn it. Uh, where'd he go? You are the rally point. There you go. And you're a rally point, and you're a rally point. I identify as a rally point. Okay, so... Small... Four. When in doubt, research the bigger gun. <laughs> when in doubt, matter disintegrators. Jaskavaz Coalition, I'm not going to be your vassal. Not going to happen. Everybody wants you to be a vassal, Bob. I, yeah, uh, they do. They want to protect you. <laughs> I'm okay. Bob should know all about the protection of his liege. Good th it's a good thing. That would be huh. nice if there was a little bit more nesting in this. It's a little basic as it is. What do you mean? Um, like a, a, a vassal um, lord uh, like relationship. It's a little bit more in depth than U4. A lot more in depth than CK2. It's pretty basic in here so far. It's basically just like, hey, they're there and they answer to you. Well, hopefully Utopia will have some new stuff. Maybe not. I actually haven't seen anything specific about that. I, I, I've been... Uh, I, I know that there's lots of stuff coming, but I've been purposely, like, keeping my blinders on. Stellaris. It's, Utopia. It, it's looking good. Like, all the... Uh, all the stuff they've put out, I... Oh, I am liking the look of. See, I like the the the, uh, the slavery thing is getting expanded actually quite a bit. Yep. Because you can, you know, like one of the options is like you, you can. There's gonna be some things you can do with your slavery, right? About your slaves, right? So you can have them be like you know servants or arm. They can press them into army service, or you can turn them into livestock to feed your people. That's that is cool. I'm liking what's coming out about the factions mechanic. Because it's going to be, you know, if someone gets elected there, that faction increases in power or something. Well, yeah, like, instead of it being, like, rebel factions, they're mostly going to be, like, political parties and uh, lobbies and things like that that'll influence or are trying to influence your government. Which makes a lot more sense. I like that better than, uh, like, the current system. Like, a My lot God. more. Why did you move here? <laughs> Curses. Did, did somebody move to a planet they hate? <laughs> and then bitch about it. Roachkins did. <laughs> Just xenophobia Just minus five percent. Leadership primary species only minus five percent. Alien overlords minus ten percent. Then why did you come to live here? Fine, you're getting enslaved. <laughs> why is why is this one migrating to Magnus Prime or to Magnus Prime? <laughs> what works works in the in the energy fields. I He's looking for fun. work. He's tired of manning the, uh, the, what is he manning? The Monument of Purity. Steam power! Where's Permitive the policy that lets you do, uh... The steam engine! Where's the policy that lets you do more aggressive observation? Uh, native and something? Native interference? Is it in the generic policies and edict section? Because I don't see it. Yes, native interference. It's in there. Yeah, passive study and active study. It's so weird. I don't even have that as an option in my policies. Apparently, we don't even okay. care about natives. Yeah, war philosophy, slavery, slave procreation, purge, orbital bombardment, the native interference is right below that. Mm -hmm. and then there's native enlightenment. Oh, someone died. Oh, there's not enough food here. No wonder. No wonder the people aren't growing. That'll do it. You're starving, starving them to death. Why aren't you getting fatter? <laughs> we will replace this energy field, or no, this is the mineral field, being worked by the chim slaves. So we're going to turn all these miners into farmers. Surely nothing will go wrong. <laughs> Build a farm. Where are the immortal? How close to you are being ready to, to start this thing off here, uh, Magnuni? Uh, I've got about 
60k in fleet power, so I'm good to go whenever you are. Well, looks like the Coalition just joined a new uh, alliance. Just let me get my fleet onto the border and I'll be good to go. Roger that. You got 57,000 in fleet power. So this is Belmacosa plus who? A whole swarm of others. Let's look. Uh, it would be Belmacosa. I think it's just a, a slew of smaller... Well, the Calicatoro, which are on my southeastern border, are probably the next biggest. And then it's Empire of like Graga and uh, Kith and Allied, which I don't think are big. Upgrade my transport ship. Empire of Lagraga, that little empire just south of the Galactic Center. And then Kith and Allied are lower, uh, a little lower than them. Transport ships upgrade. Get you some better armor. So the the renewed fleet of of the nation of Magnu is is ready, ready to go. Name of these uh, ships are pretty cool: Odyssey, Formidable, Yamato, Rangers, Tsushima, Atlas, War Spite, Excelsior, Ulysses, the Coral Sea, right. the Kagi, Icarus. The Chim are in Shetty, ready to roll. I'm ready. I'm in. Uh, uh, Pathavon in the south, ready to go. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be two entirely different coalitions going to war, though, or the um, alliance is going to war against this uh, entity. Because you got to convince your friends, don't you, Ben? What? Because you're not in our... our uh... I remember we fixed that last episode. Oh, we did. Oh, did oh yeah, we, we fixed that. Yeah. It was a bug that I figured out how to circle. You just back. had to go straight to the leader and then ask. Took it yeah. instead of using the the Federation. So yeah. screen how do itself. I do? I have to de do? I just declare war by a normal means, or what? Oh, but we still have to convince the Zoom Nation, who which Midge isn't here. Yeah. <laughs> but do I just do normal declare war, and then it automatically does the Federation thing, or what? The vote will be called. Yeah. Okay. Declare war. Um, what are you looking to get out of this, Ben? Um, any of the border pro uh, border province would do. Ibleen, uh, Breek. Right. Ibleen. Jesus, they have so much shit. This is going to take a while. Is there a yeah, filter? they have so much shit, and everything's listed four separate times. All right, you want to... Yeah, that might be a good idea. Next update is to, instead of just to, like... Like liberate this planet, uh, take over this planet, take over this planet for Ibleen a friend, and what was the other one you mentioned? Let me just have a drop down menu. Ibleen and Breek, B R E E K, Breek. Those are the two that kind of border. So those are the ones I'm most interested in. Okay. All right. In one month, I get plus five percent to shields. There it goes, yay! And then let's see. I would like oops. That's never good. Oops. What? <laughs> what did I? What'd you on? do? Can I get one of you? I have more battle, more battleships this time. All right, I can give you three planets and me three planets with a war score that, cost of ninety-five. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, we ready? I'm ready. I suppose. I voted. Well, yeah, you guys will still have to deal with the chitin and the. Uh... The Lagrange, the whatever the fuck they are, down south. Oh my, two bleen. If they're uh, if you spot their fleet and it causes any issue, just let me know. Yeah, I'm heading into Breek. Well, Kithen is at least 
pathetic compared to me. Let's see what the grog is like here. They're just pathetic in really every way except for technology. Okay. Yeah, I think the south is, is kind of just... Oh, they've arrived in brief. It's the shitty part of the galaxy. Are you saying the south is not going to rise? No. Oh, jeez. No, I, I think their battle station got hit by one tachyon lance and was destroyed. Oh, oh, that's so a they... lot of ships coming towards you. Magnu, yeah. you've got the uh, Federation stuff now. Holy shit, I gotta run. <laughs> there's there's a 60,000 fleet lives. power in Breek. Oh, you're fighting now. Yeah, I couldn't get out in time. Abandon your posts! Do you need me to come help? Uh, or I need to get the hell out of here. They've got... I can get there in one jump. They've got 54,000 and growing. I still have to get out of here. I'm I'm exploding very quickly. Oh, they uh, they came at me with 10k, which I'm not too terribly. Run right away! They've got they got long range weapons. Yeah, they so do. do I, so I'm not I'm not too terribly concerned about that. Shields either. are about gone, Nems. Oh, there you go. I ran like a little bitch. Don't worry. That's okay. I'm just gonna hang out here and try to lure him over. Then, if you're, if you're, if I can't get there in time and you're leaving, I'm just gonna hang out. Right, I've got like 60k sets. worth of ships. I got 57. I mean, they're no pushover. They looked no. like they had pretty equivalent technology. Um, they had the uh, the the that beam weapon, uh, but I have the second level beam weapon. So, and it, 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 I, I'm pretty confident my battleships can can just can beat theirs. Oh, they're coming at me with 30k. It's uh, quite a bit of uh, military tech for fanatic pacifists. <laughs> DK. Alright. Uh... No, I don't think... I, I think it would be better for me to uh, wait for Nems and uh, in, in advance together. Because they outnumber me by about 3k, which I, I'm, I'm relatively confident. I think we can reduce our casualties by hitting them together. Alright, where did Xenoswarm Alpha go? Okay. I'm in Grokon. Repairing. See, how many, turn, how, how many days until we can leave? Oh, nope. They engaged me before I got out. Alright, we're, we're, this is happening. Where are you at? Uh, Ibn. The bean. The bean. Oh yeah. You... Bell and Bacosa well, Unfortunately, broke far, for far away from me. Can't imagine why. Well, that, that's that's. I mean, I think I might be actually okay because I engaged their thirty k stack before the other one. Yeah, you got. And uh, you got that kicked off way early. Yeah. Bread tech. Should I research that? I did manage to get mm. a good number of their ships uh, destroyed before the second fleet got here, so. Reaching red text right now doesn't matter because the crisis has already gone off. I thought it was only end game crisis that you can only have one of. Yeah. Are they all end game crises or? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, because uh, because Ben essentially, I I was watching your videos and I found out you were uh, you were secretly trying to instigate an AI crisis. I was uh, yes. Um. Yeah. Well, if you watch Bob's video, he did it before me. Complete. Construction. Everything's fine. What are you talking about? AI crisis. Well, I got. I somebody somebody tweeted that at me. They were like, "Don't you worry starts. about the AI thing. Bob's doing it too." And I was like, "Oh, good to know." All right. Uh, I destroyed them. I think I destroyed the majority of their fleet, and then some left. Excellent. So you get my transport ship back over here. We'll have slaves work the art monument. Sounds like a plan. What do you think of this piece, slave? <laughs> Whatever you want. Inspired. Okay. Inspired. So did you destroy one of the fleets and the other ran? I destroyed yes. I destroyed one, I damaged the other, and it ran. But okay. I, de I definitely destroyed the larger one. Got it. Construction complete. I think the other one left when it was at I don't know, 20 or so. 
So it shouldn't be that much. Uh, they probably could have put up a much bigger fight if they had actually stayed together. If they stayed together, yeah, it would it would have been sixty to fifty seven. But in, I basically I fought thirty, then fought another thirty, I think, or was it thirty five and twenty five, something like that. I fought them separate. Yeah, oh well, those men died. No need to recall the information. Well, They're already my, dead. They weren't my men, so who do I care? All right, I'm I'm landing my troops. Uh, which, funnily enough, are mostly Chim. As it should be. I don't know if this no. is... No, this Nobody is, takes over a planet like enough. Xenomorphs. Not anywhere close to enough troops to act, to to do this. Um, how, how many do they have versus how many do you have? Uh, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's about 15 to 15, but, I mean, they're on the defensive, so... I, I have well, rarely had any trouble taking two to one odds with Jim. Especially if you bombard him beforehand. Yep. Yeah, if you bombard the planet and drop. Oh, I, I bombarded the planet. Drop so a half a dozen Jim on, on a planet. There's not I, much that anybody's gonna do. I don't have any tech. I don't have any tech that boosts my army stuff, so they're not any good. But they're Jim, right? Some of them were. No. Most of them. They're, they're naturally they're, strong. They're, they're naturally sure. strong. Yeah. All right, well, they, they lost. Jesus. Nobody knows how to the, fuck up a, an of invasion the like generals. mushrooms. I am impressed. So, Your fair yard impresses me. Well, go back to, uh, to, to fungal, Fungoid Prime. Her orbit, and we'll just make some new ones. Did oh, you xenomorph your xenomorphs? Now. I can xenomorph now. Xenomorph cavalry, ride bet, a red uh, nems into battle. We're pretty you great for legs. that sort of thing. You have four legs. Yeah, che I can get Holy xenomorph. Crap. Che xenomorph chim are the best ones I got. Research complete. What is that? 200 morale, 400 health. What's your morale damage for your uh, Xenomorph Chimps? Uh, it's like, I think it caps out at 9 or something like that. Let's see, let me find him again. Uh, morale damage 4.68 to 9.37. Not bad. I don't know where their fleet is, but I'm rebuilding my army, so. Science oh, apparently that's why that. Well, no, never mind. Huh. All right, I'm uh, heading back towards their Ooh. space. Leadership androids allowed. Kinetic weapon damage. Explosive weapon damage. You're going to move back damage. into Breek. Going back to Breek. Breaking it up. Yep. We'll see if... Uh... Oh, What's we are pop just Hunters. called Super? Oh, all right. Oh, that, that's, uh, that's uh, Super Chims. Yep. Mm. Be afraid. All right, so, but thank you anyway for anybody, everybody, for tuning in. I'm so fucking tired. Thank you for tuning in, everybody, to this episode of Slurge Multiplayer. Hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.